keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there, Chris here from racingbetdata.com. Um, video here is just gonna give you a bit of an insight into where we are with adding in all these new features and functions within the data dashboard, head-to-head um, -head, uh, that will be rolled out too as well. Um, this is something that a lot of people have been requesting uh, and we can see the benefit in it. So that is what we're working on, a lot of time, uh, effort and energy going into it. So uh, time for a bit of an update. So what I've done here, I've navigated to the um, date picker function uh, and I've loaded up the um, some of the horses on the 2nd of May this year. Um, I'm on the test site at the moment, so none of this is live at the minute. We will deploy it fully in one hit when it's ready to go. Um, but I just wanna show you what we've been working on and what is in the outputs. Uh, so if I scroll to the right hand side, uh, you'll see these new additional columns that have been added. Uh, these aren't there on the, um, the the live site, like I said, at the moment. Um, and we're working on the functionality, the styling um, and everything else that goes around it. Um, but essentially up until till this column here, the info column, that is the end of the column as is on the live site. And these are all the new columns that we have added in. So in the headings selection here, we can see um, we have got uh, runs in the last 18 months, uh, the abbreviation here for the header, uh, wins in the last five, average uh, percentage drop from the SP in the last five races, average percentage drop against SP in the last 18 months, the RBD rating and the RBA, RBD rank. So these exclusively have been requested time and time again. Uh, and we can absolutely see the benefit where people want to, to test uh, and to potentially derive systems around it. Uh, total previous races, how many times the horse has raced before, days since last time out, um, pretty explanatory. How many course wins, distance wins, class wins and going wins compared to uh, the, 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 the race in question that you're looking at for that day. Um, last time out position, again self-explanatory. Whether the horse has won at course and distance, which is denoted by either a cross or a tick, as you can see in the background and whether the horse is up in trip again, denoted by a cross or a tick. So those are the new headings. Uh, this is the data populated, so you can see this. All of this data is currently contained already within the uh, the daily pre-race download files. A uh, bit of a mission to get it in here because it's, it's data that's created uh, independently for those files each day as the data is generated and the files are created ready for you to download. So it's not data that's stored within the database that is exported into those files. So a bit of mechanics that go on behind the scenes. So essentially it's uh, it's a bit of a faff to get this data, but we've worked out a streamlined process to get it. The data is now being populated, backdated to uh, July 2021, I think it will be, that it will go live. So when we do go live with this over the next uh, couple of weeks, hopefully, um, it will contain about two years worth of backdated information and you'll be able to sort uh, and export to Excel in the way you always have. So if we wanted to look for this day, for instance, uh, at the horses that were ranked um, number one. So I put a filter on that. Uh, sorry, I put a sort on that. So we, should, we can see here RBD rank one. So these are the horses in on my selection that were ranked one. Uh, and then you'd be able to look at the uh, the profits uh, against SP and Betfair, as you always would. You can see here that this horse that was ranked as uh, Betfair won uh, RBD ranking in that race actually went on to win with Betfair SP of 16.5. Um, so, yeah, very quick um, update. Obviously, this line here is going to be deleted, this top blank line. It's all part of the styling that is being uh, worked on by the developers at the moment. Uh, they will then follow uh, additional filters. So in the dashboard, you will then be able to hone in. So you won't just get it in the output table. That's stage one, if you like, getting the data into the output table and into the Excel outputs. The second part will be then adding some more filter controls into the dashboard. So if you wanted to filter by how many previous races the horse had had, whether it won over the course, uh, whether it's top ranked RBD ranking, if the rating exceeded a certain uh, level, all of those factors you'll be able to then uh, apply to your filters, 
create um, new systems, save those systems uh, and run them and apply them. So a lot to do, but good progress has been made. And just one more thing to follow up on, what you might have noticed is that we have this scroll bar at the top, so that'll be there. Now adding obviously all these new columns in mean, depending on your screen size, you might or might not have to scroll uh, from left to right, which can be a bit, uh, a bit annoying. So what we are also working on uh, coinciding with this is a means that every user uh, will be able to preset which columns are displayed. So if you didn't want to see the forecasted odds, for, in forecasted odds, for instance, on the screen output, you'd be able to untick that uh, and that column wouldn't display. If you didn't want to see the info uh, panel or the run since uh, last 18 months, you can untick those. Uh, you can essentially tailor what columns you see in your output on the screen uh, and change that. Now, in terms of Excel, because there's no limitation visually, all columns will always, by default, export to Excel. Uh, but we are going to bring in additional functions and features for you tailored to your, your login. Uh, and it will remember these that you can uh, select which columns do and do not appear uh, on screen. So again, another added benefit uh, that we're bringing. So all of the time, all of your support, all of your um, comments, feedback, your, your membership, your um, subscriptions, all of those, we couldn't do it without you guys uh, and you couldn't get the data without us. So it's a two-way relationship. We thank you for your support. We encourage you to continue to, to renew your memberships with us and to subscribe and to provide us with new ideas, uh, give us suggestions if it's doable and we see value in it, then we're gonna to try to do that. So uh, thanks once again for watching this video, supporting us, continue to do so, uh, and we will continue to make site improvements as we have done over the past 10, 12 years. Okay, thanks for your time.